Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense, and today I'm doing an August favorites video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I have so many good things that I want to share with you guys that I thought I'd quickly do it. It's my day off and it's the end of the month, so it came out perfect timing. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot to go through. The first I'm going to show you is these water bottles, which I am in love with. They're called Awala. I could be wrong as I'm saying that. Awala, Awala, I don't know. But anyway, I got them at Sam's Club. They are the smaller size, 24 ounces, $24.95, I believe. And the bigger ones, the 32 ounces, are $29.95. You do not have to be a member of Sam's Club in order to purchase. I think you just have to pay shipping, which is what I did on the blankets that I love so much at Sam's. But these are cool because this is for my sister and her husband, the plain ones, but you guys know me better than that to know that I'm not gonna get plain black and white. I love black and white, but you know I'm gonna get the colors. So this is the pack I got. I grabbed the 32 ounce because I am working like nine hours and so I need a bigger one. My sister can refill it, but I can't. So I just needed the bigger ones and they came in these beautiful colors. These are, are the ones that I think are $29.95. The thing that makes these so cool, and I have water in one of them right now. Excuse the lipstick stain you're about to see. It's on everything because I wear lipstick 24 hours a day. But you hold it like this, and then you hit this button, pops up. Disgusting, I know. Um, and then you can chug or you can sip. That's what makes this so cool. So you can chug or sip. Either way, you can get water out of it, which I think is so cool. How technolo technologically sal savvy is that? I can't speak. So then you just take this, go like this. They do have it in like blue, red. I think it's great for kids for school. And I have the real Yeti water bottle and this works just the same, if not better than that one. So highly recommend. You don't have to be a member of Sam's Club. I'll link it below and grab it. All the links I don't get credit for, so... Don't feel like you have to use the links because I don't get anything, but if you want to, it's an easy way to find it. Next is this Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss Lip Cream. I love this. I have it in Jessica, and yes, I specifically got it just for the name. And then when the Fall Scents came out, I got it. I don't, is it scents or flavor? I'm not really sure, but this flavor, I guess, is peppermint hot cocoa. It smells just like it. It's like a medium to thick creamy formula. And I wish they would market this in the summer because if it's not a hot effect, it's a cooling effect. And I don't know if it plumps my lips. I don't think it does plump my lips, but I still love it just the same. But it's so cooling. It's like you just put mint on your lips that it just feels like a little relief in like the 95 degree weather. So they should make these in like summer scents. I don't know, kiwi, watermelon, I don't know. Um, but it's so good. This is the peppermint hot cocoa. I believe they have three more for fall and I'm gonna grab all three. I also have the mini version. They have four of their most popular mini versions at Sephora. Don't quote me, I'll link it, but it keeps selling out. I was able to grab it. They're like this size, which is perfect for a little purse. And I recommend that too. While we're on lipstick, this MAC lipstick, I got at TJ Maxx, but they still sell it at Ulta and Sephora, I think, and MAC. Um, it is in faux, and I just think it's the prettiest nude color. And I love the bright colors, but sometimes I like to tone it down, so I'll just put it like in the middle just to tone down the color. But I think the color of it is so pretty, so flattering, a perfect base for fall, and I just think it's a go-to, and I've been using it so much. Next is the Tor Torani Pumpkin Pie Pure Made Sauce, just like the syrup, I think. But this adds like a little bit of dimension and spice to your pumpkin spice latte that you're trying to make at home. I don't know what it does, but it makes it so much better. I'm already down to here and I just got it a couple weeks ago. And so I can make a pumpkin spice latte at home. They did just come out with it today at Starbucks and I did grab one and it was delicious, but my at-home ones are also equally delicious. Mm. So good. Next, Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I got this like the minute it came out online. It was like late at night and I grabbed it. I haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury one and I honestly didn't have high hopes for this because 
it's Florida and it's hot and I feel like I'm already melting, but this somehow gives you a glow without you looking sweaty and I can't figure it out and I don't wanna figure it out. I'm just telling you that it works and you should go grab it. And if it's sold out, just check for restocks because just like all this stuff that goes viral, it'll be restocked. But I grabbed it right away. Mine is in the color shade three light medium and it shears out so much that even if you don't get your exact color, I think you'll be okay. But it just gives like a pretty glow to the skin without like that, you know how like, sometimes it's like too dewy. This is like the perfect glow from within that we all think those products do. And most of them just make us look like dewy and sweaty. So next is this Brazilian Crush Sol de Janeiro. This is the 71 Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia. This smells divine. <laughs> it's so good. You guys know I love the Bomb Dia Bright and the regular Boom Boom scent, whatever that is. But I use those, the mess out of those. But for fall, I think this is the perfect scent. It's gourmand, so you have to like gourmand. It's just, so, it just smells so good. You almost want to eat it, which is kind of a bad thing, but also a good thing. But every time I wear this, people are like, what are you wearing? And it's just this little hair and body fragrance mist. I do wish they would put this in a um, perfume and that would be much nicer because it would be stronger. But until then, this is it. Next is this Eminence Organic Skincare Coconut Cream Mask. Can you guys see that? I've only, I have seen it on Amazon, but not this exact mask. And they do have a website. Um, my husband won a trip for his job and we went to the JW Marriott in Marco Island, Florida. And with that, his company paid for like certain things. So they were like, hey, you can have a spa day. So I went and got a facial at the spa and the lady used this. She never forced me into anything. She never like made a comment about any of the products, nothing. My skin felt so soft after she did it and it smelled so good that I was like, I'm just gonna go check it out. It was a little pricey, I think it was like $50, but I went and when I got home, I did like a skincare routine. I don't know what this thing has in it, but it makes my skin feel like a baby's bottom. It almost has like, if you can see, let me see if I can get a good thing without the ring light. It almost has a chunky effect, almost like coconut is in there, which could be little flakes of coconut. I think that it is. So it is a strong coconut smell, but it is so good and it just is so nourishing and makes your skin feel so soft. And you can see how much I have left and I've probably done this mask at least 15 times and there's still so much left. So I would say it's totally worth it. Um, $50 times however many times I'm gonna use it isn't that much money. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this. If you're gonna treat yourself to something, treat yourself to this. Next is something that I was very late to the game on, very late. I get it at TJ Maxx and I just saw people like old school YouTube had it, but I never had it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. Oh, I still have the thing. It is so good. What I've been missing this my whole life. What is wrong with me? Um, I think it was $24.99 at TJ Maxx. I'm sure they still have it at Ulta and Sephora. I didn't check, but if I see it, I'll link it below. The colors are gorgeous. The base is like a natural finish, but it has this shimmer to it that's not sparkly. It's just like a beautiful like glow shimmer. It's so good. All the colors are vibrant. All of the shimmers go great on your eye. It's just so good. An all around great palette that you can grab and go for travel because it has some darker colors you could use for your eyeliner. It's just so, so good. And I love it so, so much. So grab this. The next one is another eyeshadow palette, which you know, I usually just go for like the Tartlets, Tartlet and Bloom, the tortoise color one, but I've been loving these. This is the Sigma Princess Cinderella palette. This is the back. It shows you the colors. Let me readjust myself because my feet are falling asleep. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. I'm back. The problem is, is that I'm too short for everything. So I like to be like up into the camera but then I'm too short. So I either have to load up pillows or I just 
<laughs> scratch down, but this is it. It's so pretty when you open it up. I still have this on it because I just couldn't let it go. I'm wearing the bluish green on my eye today. I think I did this green, this blue, this blue, and this like bluish kind of color. It's so good. The thing I like about it is that it has black, so you can use it for eyeliner. Not a lot of palettes these days have black, and it does have like a chestnut brown, and this deep purple shade almost looks like a brown, so this is another perfect palette. Grab and go. You don't have to worry about it. I will say it, it doesn't blend as well as the Norvina, but it still blends well. So if you want like when that's super easy to blend, you can go five minute makeup routine and go to work. But if you're doing like an actual look, I think this is so pretty. I highly recommend this. It's so good. Love that so much. Next, we're nearing the end. I don't think it's too bad. We're only at 11 minutes. This shirt, I always say Target is hit or miss on their shirts, and that is very true, but this shirt, it's by Fifth Sun, and it's a total hit. It's this beautiful, like, muted, sagey green color. It just has a simple black and white floral on it, but it's stretchy, and it washes so well. I've washed this so many times. It dries so well. It looks like brand new every single time, and I just highly recommend it. I think it's only $9.99. I want to get another one as backup just because I just feel like it's when you find good t-shirts that like last a while and wash really well, you want it in every color. And since the t-shirts are so different there, I'm like, I'll just get the same one, but please bring it out in more colors. It's so good. Highly recommend $10. Next. Is that, is this the last I have? I think it might be. I wish I had it all the way up. This is my Kindle, by the way. It is K.A. Riley, The Cure Chronicles. There's five books, they're all out now. I had to wait for them, so I'm glad that I'm telling you guys now. I kind of waited till I finished all five so that I could give you like my honest if I liked it or not, and also you guys could go out and read them all without having to wait. It is so good. It's kind of like Hunger Games, Hunger Games-ish meets, um, what's that other one, Divergent? I forgot what it was, but it's Hunger Games-ish. So if you like that kind of thing, you will love this. It's so good. It keeps you on your toes. It's like quick reads. So it's not like you have to like memorize something that happened before it just goes in order perfectly i love it it's by k.a riley i believe and it's five of them yes and it's called the cure chronicles and i like that she does like the um book one in the cure chronicles book two because i hate when authors keep it like almost a mystery and you're like what is the order for the these books it drives me crazy but if you guys have any book recommendations let me know i'm currently reading uh, the Clockwork Angel, I think. It's another series. Let me see. Come on. The Kindles are slow. Oh, Clockwork Angel. Is that what I said by Cassandra Clare? So I'll let you guys know how that is, but I'm only 6% in, so I'm barely in. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I do also love this that I just got. My sister and my mom found it in Massachusetts when my mom was visiting my sister. It's a Hocus Pocus. It's so cozy. It's tie-dyed perfectly. It's a small business. I'll see if I have any of her information, but it's so good. Sometimes you get stuff from like Etsy or people who make it and it's not great, but this is so amazing. I highly recommend it. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.